perhaps you have a special event happening or something is going on that dictates the specific dates that you need to take that vacation. Uh, perhaps you're going to come with us on the 2025 paralegal cruise. You don't have flexibility in the dates, right? Because the cruise is booked when it's booked. And those are the dates that you have to take if you want to come on the cruise. But outside of that, use common sense when it comes to planning your vacation. If you know your busy time at work is in January or February because you do a specific type of work that really ramps up during that time, then avoid planning a vacation during that time unless something specific is going on that can't be flexible. Your office may even have a policy about it. Also, if you already know that a trial is scheduled on a case that you are assigned to, or even if it's not one that you're assigned to, but you work in a small office and there's a high probability that, you know, they're going to need some backup, then taking time off during that trial period or during the time approaching that period might be problematic. Although I always find that tricky because as we know, trials move a lot or the case can get settled at the last minute. But what I'm saying here is that there is a thin line between advocating for yourself and utilizing your time off for a better life, but also respecting the work that you do and your employer. You want to be sure that you use the time when it works for you, but also kind of just be aware of obviously the job that you're doing. Now, if something gets scheduled after you have already planned your PTO, then alternative arrangements will have to be made. Someone in the office will have to fill in for you. The case could be transferred to someone else. Or in the event that there isn't someone else that can take over and it's just really critical, um, you know, that you are there, um, you might consider changing your plans. But obviously, again, a very personal decision. Uh, attorneys certainly are capable of doing the work. Uh, sometimes they want us to think that they're not. But when it comes down to it, ultimately, it is their work and they will eventually figure it out, especially if you can help them with advanced prep. Um, they can even consider having a freelance paralegal step in temporarily if it's just something that cannot be changed. So again, you should only change your plans if they were casual plans to begin with and you can easily reschedule. And also, if you're going to have any loss expenses, your employer should cover those expenses. 